welcome to another mystery unboxing for me. Today I have got six of these boxes of Sumiko Gurashi Rements. I'm really excited. From what I've seen, the Rement type collections here, they're really well made. They're really cute. And overall, Sumiko Gurashi, they are just really cute characters from San X. There's quite a little cast of them here, but they've got Shirokuma, which means polar bear, and then we've got Penguin. It always comes with a question mark at the end of it, so it's kind of like, that's really a penguin? Okay. We've also got tonkatsu, which means like a fried pork, ch uh, bleh, bleh, I can't speak, a fried pork cutlet, and it usually always comes with this little character, ebi fry, which is like a little fried shrimp, and then we've got neko, which is really simply cat, and then we've also got tokage, which is lizard, which is very helpful because I never knew he was a lizard until I found out that his name was Tokage, which means lizard in Japanese. So that's the usual little cast of characters, and then like I said, they've got characters like Ebi Furai, which comes with some of them a lot of the time, and yeah, they're just really cute. So this particular collection is the homemade sweets here. You can see each one of them comes with like a different kind of sweets thing. So there are eight different options that you can get if this will focus. So you can see there's like one of the Shirokuma, painting on a little gingerbread type cookie. They've got the tokage in some sort of a sundae. I really hope I get that one. I think it's really cute. And then same with Neko. It's holding like one of those uh, Swiss roll type logs. And then we've got Pengi. And <laughs> see how it's got the question mark afterwards? And it says chocolate banana? But like the banana's green? That's confusing. <laughs> and then it looks like, is it Neko again? Yeah, I think it's Neko again with a little muffin, which is really cute. We've also got popcorn with some of the other little characters. I actually don't know that I know any of their names. I only know the Ebi Furai just because it means fried shrimp. And I think that's adorable with the tonkatsu. And they're making a donut, of course, because they're fried, donuts fried. And then we've got the tokage with a soda jelly. Looking dinosaur, Loch Ness Monster type thing. So I'm really excited. I think these are really cute. I don't know. Pengi with the chocolate banana. I also think that one's really cute just because it's funny. Like, what the heck? So yeah, like I said, I have got six of these to open up with you guys. So we'll see which of the six out of the eight, if we get any doubles and all that. I wanted to do this video without my face in it or whatever and just my hands here because these do tend to be pretty small little character type figures. So I figured that would be better better to see you with, right? Yes, okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can crack on into this. There we go. And oh, so I don't know that these are like actual blind bags. Nope, so they come in a clear plastic bag. And first off, yay, we got the Shirokuma. So we've got the polar bear here and they come in little separate, oop, that one poked out of the, oh, you guys couldn't see, sorry about that. <laughs> but this one poked out of the plastic. But, super cute, I'm super excited. So a lot of these remints come in little pieces, so you kind of get to assemble them together. Very, I don't know, I personally like that. I like making things with my hands, so this is exciting for me, even though it's not like it's super hard to put together or anything. But here we go, we've got the little, oh, did it say on there, is it like a graham cookie? I guess I didn't look. Yeah, it's a sweet cookie. You can see the Shirokuma had drawn one of the little characters on the cookie. And here is Shirokuma holding the icing and squeezing it out. So it'll be like drawing with that on the easel. So when you set this up, you'll have the sweet cookie sit on the easel. And then you can have your little Shirokuma painting on it with the icing. It's so cute. Oh, look at his little face. I really do. I just love how detailed and sweet these are. I mean, pun absolutely intended, but I just think they're adorable and I love the little details that go into them. So super happy. Let's see. This is, this is hard to do in my viewfinder, but putting this little sweet cookie back on the easel and then the little Shirokuma doing the painting. Oh, I love him. And look at his little butt. But, but, so cute. So there is one of the remints. Here, we will stack that one up in the corner here. I don't know, maybe you'll be able to see a little better. But here goes the next one. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Like I said, I really, I don't know, I like the tokage in the sundae here. Or sorry, it says fruit punch on there, but you know, we'll see. I like them all. So as long as I don't get any, any doubles, that will be my dream unboxing video, right? 
Yes, that will be nice. So next, oh yeah, I got the fried guys. Okay, so here we have got the tonkatsu with the donut, and we've also got his little ebi fry, little friend. Oh, cute, I'm excited. Oh, I just think these are so adorable. Okay, so in here, not only do we have, I mean, this one's got a bunch of little pieces here, but so we start off with the little fry pan, and then also we've got the tonkatsu holding the donut, and in the other compartment here, this is where we've got the, I don't know what this part is called, but that other part of the fry pan. We've got the ebi fry, which is like kind of, you'll see, I'll show you closer up, but it's kind of resting in a donut, using it as an inflatable tube there, an inner tube. And then we've got the hot sizzling oil in here that has a little space for the, I think that's for the ebi fry to sit in. There we go, there's the little pan. And then like I said, we've got the little oil, the hot oil that you put right in the bottom there. So it looks like it is sizzling, sizzling away. And then these other little pieces it looks like this the grate is that what it's called just kind of sits right over the top there like that let's see if I can hold that up a little bit there you go and then like I said can you see the little ebi fry oh it's so cute can you see it's little it's little tootsies and it's sitting inside of a donut there and then the little shrimp tail looks like a little bow just the details on this you can see i mean this is basically the size of my pinky nail it's super tiny but the details are all there and they're so so cute so let's see i'll put this put this grate back on there so that the tonkatsu can sit on there and ebi fry do you fit in yeah maybe we'll stick ebi fry in there because it's got a little space two little holes or pegs for the feet to slide into and then you put the grate on top and then we have got tonkatsu there we go oh it's so cute look at him eating his little donut oh my gosh you guys this one just makes me smile this one makes me smile real real big i think it is absolutely adorable like i said just all of the little details and everything i mean it's pretty incredible if you ask me i mean this is a freaking art form that's for sure at least i think so oops and it's especially an art form if you can get things to balance and focus all at the same time Ooh, achievements achievements remints ha 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 so cute. There we go. We will put the tonkatsu and ebi furai right next to shirokuma. And next up we'll take this box here. Which one's it gonna be? I'm still hoping for the fruit punch. Let's see. I do think the popcorn's really cute. Too. I mean, I'm gonna say it a million times, you guys. I think they're all really cute. So I will be very happy with whatever is inside so long as it's not a double. Come on, something new, something new. Oh, it's got a little checklist in here. Oh, I didn't see that in the other boxes. Okay. But, let's see. Oh, yay! We got the muffin! The kitty muffin! Nickel muffin! Yay! So this one is pretty simple. It's the simplest one out of all of them so far in that it only has two pieces. The Shiro Kuma had three pieces and the Tonkatsu one had a lot of pieces. But this one, this one is super nice and simple. Here's your little, your little nickel, your little kitty cat. And he's got like a little, I don't know, it's almost like a little dollop of whipped cream or something on top of his head. At first I thought it was a little chef's hat, but he is holding a little red fish, as I think you can see. And one of his ears has the spot on it, like always. But like I said, I mean, can you see all of the detail on his face? Just his little white muzzle and then his little whiskers. Just just super cute and then he's got the extra extra little polka dots on his back one of them looks like a little heart and then his tail is striped I mean just it uh, it's amazing the details the details and then we've got this little muffin it looks like a cupcake to me if it's got frosting on it but <laughs> on the box it said a muffin so it's got this little dollop of whipped cream to match on top of Nicole's head and it's got a bunch of fish sprinkles like the one that he is holding so he's probably gonna add that on there somewhere and then on the little actual muffin cupcake tin it's got a little a little bow so cute but like it's so I don't know how it's just like interacting and everything I just think it's absolutely adorable and like I said all of the detail and everything in that it's just stunning just with how tiny it is oh I love him 
So Neko, you can go with the rest of your little Sumiko Gurashi friends. Friends? <laughs> oh boy. Um, so now, let's see, there's still lots of them left. Lots that we can get. No doubles so far, so yay. Fingers crossed we can keep up with that trend here. Let's find out. Let's see what is in our fourth Sumiko Gurashi Riemann blind bag. It feels yay! Super different. So this one is the extra simplest of them so far. There's nothing to put together with this one. Little little penguin with his question mark. He apparently likes to keep things simple. There's enough questioning going on in his life. So he is super cute. As you can see, penguin. He is just this green little penguin and he is sitting on top of this chocolate banana. <laughs> It's definitely something green on a stick. Looks more like a pickle to me, but he is just pouring some chocolate on top of it. And it's super cute! And I, I like that it's all glued together, because this would be a very hard one to balance, that's for sure, if you had to do that on your own. But yay, I got Penguin! <laughs> it's hard to sound excited and also do the question mark at the end of his name at the same time. So, Penguin? can go right there. And next up, you guys, we've only, this one was just for show, we've got two boxes left. Who could it be? I've got these ones and these ones already, so does that mean Tokage is coming? Is the lizard coming? We shall see. Second to last box. What could it be? What could it, well, it's a struggle to open. That's what it could be. But let's see here on the inside. We have got, oh, this feels different. Got another neko. So this one comes in a few different parts here. Slice this open. Does it say on here? What did he call this? Chocolate roll cake is what it says on the box. So that makes sense. I think I called it a Swiss roll. At least I think that's what they're called from Hostess. But we'll get the little green mint thing out here. At least I'm kind of assuming that's what it is. So here are the little pieces that it comes in. Here is the nickel. So you can see again, it's got the little striped tail and then all of its polka dots on its back. And this one is like he's supposed to hug the little Swiss roll. So cute. And then I think you just stick what I'm assuming is mint into this little this little hole here on top of the whipped cream. Oh, look how cute! And can you see the mint? I'm assuming it's got little arms on it even. I mean, like I said, you guys, the details on these are just adorable. They're so, so cute. And you can see the Swiss roll cake log thing. It's got these nice little divots in it. It's got the actual like texture in the cake. Let's see, little mint, we're gonna take you off for a second here so that people can see all the nice detail on here. But can you see the nice fluffiness it looks like of the cake and everything? And the little dollop of whipped cream is super cute. And it's also textured and everything on the bottom. I mean, they just, they took care of business on these. I mean, most toys and stuff, it's like if it's gonna be on the bottom, who's gonna see it anyways? But nope, nope, these remints, they are so so well detailed and just they're absolutely adorable yay so nickel you can go over here with your friends i am kind of sad that now i can't get the ones all the ones that are left i should have bought eight boxes huh <laughs> But I really, really hope out of all of them, it's going to be this version of the Tokage. I think he's super cute. We'll see you guys. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like this one's going to be a repeat. But I hope not. I hope not. I hope it's something new. Let's find out here. I mean, in any case, I've been very lucky that I've gotten all different ones so far. So if I only get one repeat, that's really... That was pretty darn good. So let's see, we'll open this up and what do we got? Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so happy, I'm so happy! Oh, this could, I mean, how freaking lucky. I, <laughs> I ordered these from Hot Topic, so it's not like I had even a choice of the boxes to be like, mm, yes, my instinct is telling me to pick these boxes. It was completely at random and I got so lucky. Oh, I really, I guess I should have ordered all eight, and maybe I could have been lucky enough to get all eight. So here we go. We've got the Tokage with his fruit punch. So you get this clear acrylic little sundae dish, it looks like, and then like a 
splash of fruit punch, I suppose. So you can see it's like really nice and textured and it's got the different chunks of fruit in there. So you just put that in the cup and then you get to put little Tokage on top and it looks like he's splashing in there. Oh my gosh, look how cute and sweet he is. So the Tokage is holding up a little pink spoon. I suppose that's a pretty big spoon in comparison to himself. I don't know that I have any spoons quite that big in comparison to my body. And you can see the little dollop of whipped cream on top of his head. At least I'm assuming that's what it is. It's got a little like bear face almost on it. And then he's got a little cherry on top. And just, oh, he's so cute. Look at the little, little tokages. I don't know what those are called. The parts on the back of his body. It's almost like a little slug maybe. Maybe not a bear. Maybe it's a slug on top of his head. But he's so sweet. Oh, I love him. Yay. Just the cutest happy little tokage lizard. So there you go, you guys. There is my new super happy, super cute family of Sumiko Gurashi friends here. The Remens from the Sweets collection. I think they are absolutely adorable. I feel so lucky that I got different ones and no repeats. I just love how detailed and gorgeously done these are. They are all adorable. I know I've said that a million times already in this video, but I really do think these are so sweet and so cute. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing to dislike with these little characters. I just think they are fantastic. You guys will have to let me know which ones are your favorite, which ones would you have liked to have gotten. I honestly really, really love them all, but I think my favorite ones are these three right here. I love the nickel with the mint roll, uh, the Swiss chocolate cake roll with the mint on top. I love the tokage in his fruit punch, and I love the tonkatsu and ebi fry in their little donut maker machine. I just love all of the little details on these ones and I, I don't know something about them is like especially cute and sweet but I think the other ones are really cute and sweet too. The little nickel with his muffin and then penguin with his chocolate banana <laughs> and also shirokuma on his little graham cracker that he's painting on with the icing. I just think, I mean, they're all adorable. They're all very, very well done. But like I said, I would love to hear from you guys and hear which ones were your favorite out of the ones that I got. Which ones would you have liked? As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and seeing which remints I got from the Sumiko Gurashi sweets line, the homemade sweets line. If you did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up down below. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? To all of you from me and my new Sumiko Gurashi friends, you can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future and also if you want to become a member of my casserole family here on my channel I'd love to have you here and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye